We are two Norwegian dudes, two months, 19 countries and 16,000 kilometers from Norway to Georgia and back. Alright, let's recap the last episode. We had some issues in the Kalimani mountains and got stuck in the snow. We met some bears on the Transfaragasaran. We washed our clothes and met some beautiful people at Motukem, Bulgaria. Early in the morning we drove to the Shipka monument. And from there you can see the Bozluza monument. Right there. Circa 13 kilometers. And you have access from the Shipka Pass or Kazan Lak. Beautiful roads but in bad condition. The Bazlucha monument was built in 1974 from the Communist Party. We also drove the road from Idilevo to Trojan and south the road 35 to Kanava. More from there we took the road E871 to Burgas. Well, on the way we met Stephanie from Motocamp Bulgaria and decided to have a night at Camping Keaton. After our morning coffee, we took the road 99 to the Turkish border. The border crossing Malkurtanovo was easy. We said goodbye to Stephanie and took the road D565 to Dermikoy. Campsite was wild, beautiful. We were all alone, we could see our motorcycles and sleep directly on the beach. This campsite made such an impression on us. And after building up uh, our tents and having our Stiefel beer, we had to go swim in the Black Sea. <laughs> like God created us. The typical dry procedure was every day throwing our clothes over our tents. Go and buy it, that would be great. And uh, whoa, I'm a poet, I didn't ever know it. We making dinner! Fresh veggies from the market and a lot of garlic and onion. And of course, red wine should not be missing. Erin is trying to make a campfire with a gas cooker, but it worked. <sighs> Good morning! The next day we early packed our stuff and drove away. I'm uh, filming. So, my friend, then... Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, go, go. On the road, the typical day starts at six. Break, 
breakfast at 7 and packing the bike 7.45 till sometimes 8.30 and then we are on the road again yeah. so we need uh, around one and a half and two hours uh, but it's fine On our way to Istanbul. Crazy traffic. Our hotel had the possibility of safe parking. If hotel or booking.com are not working, you have to use a VPN proxy. For example, VPN super proxy. Uh, yeah. Ali Hupno. I am in my trouser. I'm sweating. The one time you are waiting for me. Ali Hop! The, the first. Hush, hush. The first time we went. <laughs> As you can see, we were very hungry. After the food, we went to the bazaar, had a little bit of sightseeing, Hagia Sophia, Basilica Cisterns, and the Blue Moshe. And of course, we had to try shisha or hookah and had some drinks. And the German made the friend. After two days in Istanbul, we took our bikes from the safe parking spot, went to the hotel and got our stuff. Okay, we were ready to start, but Ordnung muss sein. Now we can go. Because of the traffic jam, we decided to take the ferry from Yemikapi to Yalova. Booking the tickets were very easy and available over the internet. Easy peasy? Yeah. yeah. of camp spots can you find on iOverlander. It's an app on Android or iOS. The next day we had a very long ride. In the beginning off-road, but later highway. After 515 kilometers and 12 hours in the saddle, we arrived on the plateau. It was dark.
Lesson learned, know your campsite before 5 or 6 in the evening. The plateau on his entrance has a tricky corner. After this long day, we had a very good night and the next morning was greeting us with good weather. This morning I was responsible for the coffee. Yesterday, on the way to the campsite, I tipped over the bike. It was dark and lessons learned here is, if we meet tough terrain, we have to go from the bike and explore the conditions. <laughs> Landscape in Cappadocia is absolutely stunning. And on our way to Ukiza, we drove a few times wrong to find our hotel. The plan was originally to camp at the Panorama campsite, but we needed a shower and we decided to use a hotel. Ukiza is a touristic place and you have to expect higher prices for accommodations. The hotel was clean and had a nice terrace and in addition safe parking. But be aware you cannot buy any alcohol in the hotels. We were visiting the Ukiza Kalesi nearby. It's so cold. The interesting thing about the castle is that it is rock cut into the stones and on its highest point 60 meters. On the roof we have the perfect position to see the starting balloons in the morning. So we woke up at 4.30 and were looking at the balloons at 5. A flight cost around 100 to 250 euro. Here you see Eva. She is a Bulgarian motorbiker we met in the hotel. After a delicious breakfast, we drove in the direction to Feke, 225 km over beautiful mountain passes. Okay, for those of you who are interested in statistics and budget, here are some numbers. We drove in total 5,319 km which is around 312 km average per day and used around 469 euro and this because of Istanbul which is a very expensive city. Thank you for watching and I hope I see you again.